If you've ever wondered what astronauts do for most of their day on board the International Space Station, the answer is actually pretty cool. They spend most of their time doing science. Each of the member nations has their own lab. Uh, each of those laboratories are any number of experiments going on. And in the U.S. National Laboratory in particular, there's not just government research going on. There's actually a lot of commercial research. But until recently, it was pretty expensive to get any research done. That's where uh, a company uh, started in 2010 comes in, uh, which is called NanoRax. And what NanoRax has done is they've actually created a modular laboratory with standardized specifications uh, that can run any number of different scientific experiments. And their most recent piece of equipment that they put on board is a green box with a black and white touch screen, but it is a microplate reader, which is uh, the workhorse of the biological laboratory world. There was nothing like it in outer space. Scientists weren't able to look at things that they were really interested in learning, uh, which is how the absence of gravity uh, affects the growth of proteins um, for pharmaceutical research, how it affects bacteria, um, and how it affects drugs behave. And all of those things that happen in zero gravity by learning how uh, it affects things there can actually give researchers some great insight into learning how it works uh, here on Earth. Now, NASA wanted a microplate reader in outer space, but they were convinced it was going to take years to develop and cost millions of dollars. And uh, NanoRacks Managing Director Jeffrey Monber told NASA that they could do it for less than a million in six months. For just $500,000, uh, NanoRacks was able to retrofit a microplate reader that was available commercially to work in outer space. Not only uh, did they have to tweak the action of the reader uh, to work in zero gravity, they also had to dumb down the user interface so that any astronaut at any given time would be able to use it and not just a biologist uh, who's specially trained to use the equipment. For that $500,000, uh, NanoRacks is going to be charging private companies uh, $60,000 an experiment to run on the International Space Station. At that price, uh, is not only affordable uh, for academic institutions and companies, it's also going to turn NanoRacks a tidy profit in short order. In fact, as long as they keep uh, innovating in developing uh, commercial science to be used in outer space, I imagine that they're going to be profitable uh, for a great many years to come.